Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be building a Photos web application using Python and Azure Storage. We'll be able to upload and view the pictures on any browser. Let's get right into it. So we'll be building this web application where we'll have a form to upload images and we'll display them on the page itself. For this tutorial, you'll need Python and Flask installed, so I'll leave some links in the description if you need to do that. I also wrote a blog post to accompany this video, so if you want to access the coding snippets, you can easily do that on the blog. Now let's get into the code. So as you can see, I created a new folder and I've opened it up in VS Code. I'll start off by creating a file for the application, a simple app.py. We'll start with some code to create a Flask application. We'll then add our first root. This root will return the HTML form to upload our pictures. And this form is going to be posting to another endpoint. In this endpoint, we'll just start off by listing the file names just to make sure that everything's working. So at this point, let's start up our Flask application. We'll make sure that everything's going as expected. So after starting our Flask app with the flask run command, we can see our application in the browser at the localhost 5000. So with our Flask app, we can now choose a couple of files and upload them to our server. When we'll upload them to our server, what we'll see is that upon submitting, the Flask application will just list the file name that were uploaded. So everything's working as expected. So at this point, we'll go ahead and create the resources that we need in the Azure portal. If you don't already have an Azure account, make sure to make yourself a subscription. For this tutorial, we'll stay within the limits of the free tier, so don't worry about that. Once you're in the portal, go ahead and click Create Resource. And once you're here, we're going to look for Storage. Now we'll select the Microsoft Storage account. We'll hit Create. In here, select one of your subscriptions. And you can create a new resource group for this specific tutorial. We can call it Photos App Tutorial and I'll choose locally redundant storage. Let's review and create, and hit create. So once our storage is deployed, we'll go to the resource. Now what we have to do is get the keys in order to access this resource from our Flask application. From here, we can see the access keys for our resource. If we click show keys, we can copy the connection string under key one that we'll need for our project. At this point, we'll need to add the connection string as an environment variable. If you're on Windows, you can simply write set Azure connection string equals and then paste your value. So at this point, we'll need to install the Python library in order to access the Azure storage. We can do that by running pip install Azure storage blob. Once that's done, we'll import them at the top of the file in order to use them in our code later. Now we'll create a client which will be able to communicate with the blob storage. In order to set it up, we'll retrieve the connection string from the environment variables, and we'll also set the container name to photo. We'll create an instance of the blob service client from our connection string. And we'll also create a container client in order to interact with the files within that container. The way Azure Storage works, for an Azure Storage account, you can have multiple different containers. In our case, we'll just use one container, and we'll store all our photos within that photos container. So now we'll have all the clients set up when we first run our application. We'll be able to use them within our endpoints. In order to do that, we'll change the function upload photos. Specifically, when we iterate through the file list, we'll try to upload them to the Azure storage. In case of an exception, we'll print it out, but in most cases, it'll just be ignoring duplicates. So let's test out our form upload so far. We'll choose a couple files and we'll submit them through the form. As we can see, the file names are printed, indicating that they were successfully uploaded to Azure Storage. But let's go make sure that they're uploaded to the Azure Storage within the portal. We'll go back to our resource within the Azure portal, and then we'll click onto the containers within the data storage. In here, we should see the Photos container. And clicking to the Photos container, we should be able to see the list of photos that were uploaded. As we can see, both of the pictures we uploaded are indicated here in the list, so everything's working as expected. So now we need to change the access level of our files within our container. This is because our Flask application will need public access to these photos in order to render them within the HTML. To do this, we can simply go to our photos container, change the access level, and then select blobs. This will make our photos publicly available. Now we'll change our code in order to display those photos from the Azure storage in our Flask application. To do that, we'll go change our view photos function. We'll first start by getting all of the images within our container, and we'll create a variable to build the HTML which will be returned at the end of the function. Now we'll iterate through the images and get the URL for each of these images, and then we'll append that to the HTML in an image tag. 
Finally, we'll append our image HTML variable to the HTML that is returned by the function. Now let's go verify that our application is working as expected. We'll go back to localhost 5000. And here we should see that the two images that we uploaded should be displayed in our application. If you don't see this, make sure to restart your Flask application in case it didn't register the changes. So now we have all the functionality in our application, but the styling could use some work. So let's work on that. In this case, I'll be using the bootstrap library in order to use their pre-existing classes. So all we have to do is to go over to the getbootstrap.com website and copy over the link that we'll add to our HTML. So in our view photos function, when we return the HTML, we'll import the bootstrap library using the link that we just copied. And we'll wrap that in a head tag. I'll also add a navigation bar with the title of the application. I'll wrap the form in a container div and I'll add some styling here and there. At the end of our HTML, we'll have to close the container div and the body. Finally, we have to go back to our image HTML and add some styling there too. Our images will be wrapped with a div and we'll close that div at the end. Finally, we'll add some simple inline styles to our image. So now when we refresh our application in the browser, we see that there's a nice styling applied to our application. It looks very professional and we can see both the pictures that we uploaded. At this point, we've achieved all the functionality that we set out to implement in this photos application. And it looks pretty good too. So at the end of this project, you might want to delete all of your Azure resources in order to avoid any charges on your subscription. In order to do that, go back into your Azure portal and make sure to go to the resource group that you created for the tutorial. From the resource group, we can simply delete the resource group. This will delete all the resources that we set up for this tutorial. In this case, it's only the storage account. Perfect. And now we're deleting our resource group. We won't have any charges on our account. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, feedback, or questions, leave them down in the comment box and subscribe for more web dev projects.